What's up guys, welcome back to Airbnb ABCs. Hey, if this is your all's first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below to start an Airbnb business if you want to see how my Airbnb business is going or anything about Airbnb, VRBO, short-term rentals, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you guys have been here for a while, you've seen my stuff, hit the like button that really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm because today we are going to be talking about something that I hear a lot of hosts asking about and that is how to get more bookings through VRBO versus Airbnb. And there's a variety of reasons for that, but first I'm gonna apologize because I am dealing with a giant head cold and it is just stuffing up the entire left side of my face, but it's been way too long since I put a video out and put a video out on this topic because I hear it a lot. And the thing is that a lot of hosts want more bookings on VRBO and there's a common belief that VRBO guests are um, more, that they're better than Airbnb guests, either that they respect the house rules better, that they leave less of a mess, that they are uh, less needy and just less pain in the butt. And I you know, have not found that to be the case. We've been doing Airbnb now for over a year and I found about equal levels of uh, problems with guests or no problems with guests between the uh, VRBO and Airbnb platforms. I really haven't found that either one is any better or worse than the other. The other thing that people have a, a common uh, belief about is that VRBO is more friendly to the individual host. For example, if you have a problem with the guest and you want to charge them money or there's some dispute, that VRBO is going to be uh, more on the host side than Airbnb. Again, this is a place where I really haven't found uh, there to be that, that sort of thing going on. Really, when you look at it from a hosting perspective, VRBO actually has far fewer protections for uh, their host than Airbnb, especially since Airbnb re re uh, released their air cover uh, protection. And although Although there's people that have had problems with Airbnb reimbursing stuff and, and all sorts of deals, at least Airbnb has that host protection as far as like damage protection and uh, you know all, all sorts of other things versus just the liability protection that VRBO and Airbnb offer. And I've actually found Airbnb overall to be a much better booking platform. Uh, their, their tech is just far superior to VRBO. VRBO it, it was one of the originals as far as short-term rental booking platforms and they are are a little bit stuck in the past. Airbnb's uh, app, their website, their integration with uh, uh, property uh, management channel uh, managers such as Hospitable and Guesty is just far superior. As a matter of fact, we just had a huge outage with VRBO and Hospitable where they were not syncing um, reservations made through VRBO. They weren't sending automated messages either to the guests or the cleaners and all because VRBO had some sort of hiccup that led to uh, there being issues with those channel managers. VRBO charges you 5% more on the host fee side of things. Airbnb only charges 3%. VRBO charges 8% to the host. And so you actually end up paying more for uh, less protection and a uh, less good website app uh, integration. And you know, overall, it just I, I think Airbnb has a better platform. Despite all of that, I have went from about 90% of my bookings being with Airbnb when I first started out with this to about 90% of my bookings being with VRBO. And I think that it is because of VRBO Boost. And that's what I wanna go over with you guys today is how you can get more bookings through VRBO and kind of in less bookings through Airbnb if that's what you're really looking for by using uh, the VRBO Boost function after you reach Premier Hotel status. Now this isn't something that I intended to do. I was just trying to get more bookings overall because when it comes down to it, I will always take a booking versus taking a booking from a particular site. I always want to cast the widest net for my properties and I always just want to get whatever I can. So I'm going to use whatever tools are available for me to get bookings on either platform. And I like Airbnb and VRBO. There's a bunch of other ones out there that have uh, their own significant downsides. We can get into that in a different video, but those are the two that I like the best. Now, before we get into like exactly how you do this, what I wanted to, to, to do is that make sure that you are renting a top tier property. If you are not uh, you are not going to get bookings the same as the people that are renting the top tier properties that are right for their location, such as mountain properties being, you know, log cabins, beach homes being very beachy, uh, things of that nature. Make sure that they're updated, clean, decluttered. Uh, make sure that the titles, descriptions uh, in, your, in, in your pictures, paint the picture of the experience that you are selling, not putting all of your rules and stuff into, the, uh, into your description. And make sure that you have an excellent cover photo that really gets the attention 
as people are scrolling through hundreds or thousands of those uh, of those listings. If you have that all together, then you can get into this VRBO boost kind of strategy. So VRBO boost is sort of like a rewards program that allows you to essentially juice up where your uh, listing lands in search. When people search for you know log cabin, two bedrooms between this state and these states with these many people. And what it does is it gives you points when people book through VRBO and when people complete their stays through VRBO. And obviously there's different point values depending on how long they stay, how much the reservation was worth, obviously because uh, VRBO wants to make more money off of the fees and all of that. And so the more you know you can sell, the more points they're gonna get you. Now to get access to VRBO Boost, you have to be a, a VRBO a premier host. And that's similar to Airbnb super host uh, status type of thing. Uh, but just a real quick uh, go over of what that entails is that you have to have an average review rating of 4.3 or higher. And honestly, guys, if you can't maintain a, a review rating of 4.3 or higher, you really need to look into why you cannot keep your reviews up there because you're just not going to get consistent bookings if your reviews are falling down like that. You need to have a booking acceptance rate of 90% or higher. And so, you know, use your instant uh, books. I love having instant book and I don't have to deal with the guests. But if you, uh, you manually approve, make sure you're approved at 90% or more and be sure to set your criteria so that you are not getting booking requests that are, do not work for your property. You need to have a cancellation rate from the host side of 5% or less. And the deal is, is never cancel because uh, as far as you doing that, because it will really hurt you in these uh, different algorithms. You need three or more reviews and you need at least five bookings or 60 total book nights if you end up taking you know, rather long stays. Uh, accepting those rather long stays, you need to at least have 60 nights booked. So this is really pretty easy to uh, to to get, especially if you're in a hot market like Gatlinburg or Destin or something like that. And so once you get that, you uh, you'll get a box, and I'll put this on the screen, and uh, it'll it will be your boost power ups, and it'll say how many are available and what have you, and that is where you can go apply your boost points to boost you up in search. And what'll happen is is you'll you'll select the date ranges that you want. And I'll put a video up here that shows a little boost hack that I feel like I've figured out, where you can just apply that uh, that boost number to one day, and it will give you a lot of uh, of effect on your calendar versus if you uh, if, if put a lot of days in there, you end up using a lot of points and uh, don't get any better results than just using one day with fewer points. So you can make your boost points go a little bit further. But you go in there, you set that, and it will tell you how where you land in search that day. And it, it varies day to day, depending on how many properties are available those days, depending on what the prices are those days, et cetera. So it will change over time. But you put your boost points in there, it will say where your new rating is in search, and uh, that will hopefully get you that VRBO booking that you are looking for and uh, that will block that out on your calendar. Now, what this does is it creates sort of a positive feedback loop. As you get bookings, you get more boost points. As you get more boost points, you can use those to boost your listing higher. And as your listing gets higher, you'll get more bookings and then you know rinse and repeat to the point where your calendars are starting to get totally saturated with VRBO traffic. And that's basically where mine are. I am almost uh, completely booked with VRBO with just a handful of Airbnb bookings in there. And as, again, I get more bookings through Airbnb, I get more points, I deploy those points and I deploy them quickly. I don't save them up, I get them to the next thing that I wanna book in my calendar, be it you know a weekend, a couple of weekdays or whatever, and I apply them and I end up getting booked through VRBO. And so that will allow VRBO to dominate your calendar and there just won't be anywhere for people to book for Airbnb reservations. So if you guys are looking to get more VRBO guests for whatever the reasons are that you want to do it, this is a pretty solid strategy by using uh, those boost points to increase the amount of people that are booking your, your rental through VRBO versus Airbnb and that will give you uh, the ability to to get the bookings that you are looking for. Now, be sure to click the links that are on the screen right now. It's going to tell you guys all about the properties that we have, how we run our our uh, short term rental business, booking through VRBO or Airbnb. I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe, hit that like button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.